Hello everyone, Jax Animo here again and today we have a challenge on geometry. Uh, like these days now we're going to produce um, challenges on other topics outside exponential equation. Here we have P Q R O X. Now the rectangle is divided into two. Here we have your P K R O Q and P K X. Your P K S is a right angle triangle and your p k r o q is a trapezoid yeah according to your terms name here is yellow and here is green so we are asked to find the area of the um, yellow portion of this uh, figure so how do we go about this now before we go into today's challenge if you're new to this channel kindly subscribe and when you subscribe turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop answer video a wonderful video okay a sunday morning first thing in the morning i'm going to drop a powerful video okay for your learning for your phone all right so let's take a look at this question the question we say from the figure above pk pk is equal to 15 cm the sk xk is equal to k arrow so you have your line sk equal to line k arrow the angle PKS is equal to 37 degrees. So we have here PRKS, which is this angle is equal to 37 degrees. The area of PQROK, PQROK, what will be the area of this? Now let's take our solution to this challenge. Okay, so we have here solution. All right, let's start from this side of the bird. Now, Many looking at this diagram, the number one thing we have to do here, we must get this side of the diagram and also this side of the diagram. Now, the essence of giving this 37 degree is for us to use um, our Sokatoa. If you remember, if you recall your Sokatoa, recall your Sokatoa. Okay? All right. So let's look for a formula from our Sokatoa that will connect the height here to this triangle and this given angle and the hypotenuse here so here is the opposite because that is where the angle given is facing so this is your opposite and this is your hypotenuse automatically this is your adjacent so looking for a formula that will connect this this and the theta here we're going to have here sin theta which is opposite all of our hypotenuse. So opposite one of our hypotenuse will give us what we're looking for. So from here, we have here sine theta equal to our opposite all of our hypotenuse. Okay, this is our elementary mathematics, if you recall. So let's do our substitution. Here we have sine 37 degree equal to our opposite is what we're looking for. We don't know our opposite. So let's let it be p s so p x all over hypotenuse p k p k is given right p k is given to be 15 so let's put down 15 yeah all right this is all over if you say one we can cross multiply to give us our line p s is equal to your 15 sine 37 degree which is equal to 15 times let's look for our sine 37 degree from our calculator okay so here's our calculator sine let's get our sine 37 degree we give us your zero point your six zero one eight all right so if we multiply out times um 15 so here we have 9.020. So this is 9 approximately. So the nearest whole number, this will give us 9 approximately. All right, so we've got on this here now. Okay, so PS is already known. We can now use PX, PK to get our XK. Remember, this is a right angle triangle. Okay, so we can succumb to our Pythagoras rule, which says that the square of a is equal to the square of b plus the square of c remember this according to our pythagoras okay Pythagoras. 
Guras, children. So if we look into this, if we consider this, so long as a right angle triangle, then what will be our A? Our A is the hypotenuse here, which is given to be 15. So we have this to be 15 squared is equals to B. It's our opposite here, PS, and that is what we calculated for already. PS is equals to 9. So we have here 9 squared plus our C, SK. We don't know. So SK remains there. R squared. All right. So the square of 15 will give us 2, 2, 5 equals to the square of um, 9 will give us 81 plus our xk. So making sk the subject of the formula we now give us here your 225 minus 81 which automatically will give us 144. All right, mind you here we have our square here. So we take the square root of both sides. So if we square both sides of this equation, we equally square this side of this equation. So this we leave. Again, we're going to have plus minus here. Okay? But because we are dealing with um, a, a, a distance, we are dealing with length, we're going to ignore the negative sign. So we take only the positive. And so our xk, line sk, is equal to uh, the square root of 144 will give us 12 cm. So we succeeded in getting our SK. Mind you, SK is equal to what? K arrow. Look at it here. SK is equal to K arrow. So our K arrow is still the same thing as this. So this is equal to your um, K arrow. Like K arrow. Okay. So let's continue on this side. Again. Now that we succeeded in getting the height here, We've gotten dx and dx. And so, we can equally now calculate our PQ. PQ is the combination of this. So, from here, we can now have here PQ. So, let's look at PQ. Okay. Sorry, PQ. Line PQ is equal to your line XK plus line um, K arrow. Okay. So, yeah, our SK and PQ, same. So we have 12. So we're going to give us here 2 times 12, which is equal to 24 cm. We succeeded in getting our PQ. We succeeded in getting our PX. Now, let's come to this side of our diagram. Now. We are calculating the area of this trapezium. Here now. There are two ways we can use to get the area of the yellow part which is this, according to the Tom's name. Now, we can say the area of the rectangle is equal to the area of this triangle plus the area of this trapezium. If we do that, we still get the same answer. But let's go ahead to get the area of the trapezium straightforward. So we cannot say area of trapezoid P um, Q arrow K is equal to uh, you know the formula for the area of a trapezoid which is your half into your A plus B into the height. Okay. Here A is the side parallel to the longer side. Okay. H is the height. So if we go ahead to substitute this will give us 1 all over 2 into what is our A? Look at our A. Our A is K arrow. Okay. So here we calculated already to be what? 12 K arrow. So we have 12. 12 plus B is the side opposite to our K arrow, which is the longer side, which is this. Okay. So our PQ already we've also calculated for our PQ. Look at it here, which is 24. So we have here 24 bracket and our H which is PS, we calculated for it already. Look at it here. 9, so times 9. Okay? Let's say dot 9. So we can add what we have inside there together. This plus this will give us uh, 36. 
So we have 36 times 9 all over 2. 2 year 1, 2 year to 36 will give us your 18. Okay, so we are now left with 18 times 9. And if we multiply 18 by 9, that will give us um, 162. Yeah, so 162. Sorry, 162 cm square. So that marks the end of this challenge for today. I want to believe you learned something from this geometrical question. And if you do, then give the video a thumbs up or you have a, a question or you're not clear in the process of uh, the solving, drop it in the comment section. Whatever be the issue, leave a comment below. If you are clear and you like what has just happened here, just leave a comment. You can just say, thanks, Mr. J, for what you're doing. God bless you. Give the video a thumbs up. Okay. Do not forget to share these good videos, these wonderful videos with those that need this knowledge. Your children, those of your colleague who need this knowledge. It will go a long way to help them. Okay. Don't keep this knowledge to yourself alone. Remember, this is all I must TV again and again. And my name is Jigs anymore. You know what? I love you because you are always there. You are the reason for the existence of this channel. Bye for now.